Meanwhile, the World Figure Skating Championships continue here in Vancouver. Don't forget, the ladies take the ice a little bit later this evening. Michelle Kwan, Arena Slutskaya, Sarah Hughes for their short program. But right now, Vinkla and Losa lead over Grushina and Goncharov. Then the Americans, Lang and Chernyshev. But here are the Italians. Barbara fuster and Maurizio Margaglio. They are the reigning world silver medalists finished right behind the French team. Anasina and Pezola last year in Nice, but a short time ago at the European Championships, they defeated the French for the first time in their careers. And they win their first world title here in Vancouver. Nice flow here in the side-by-side -side footwork. Great unison. Whenever they break back there into their hold, it's a very elegant hold. It's very lifted and very much from the ballroom floor. became instant celebrities back in Italy after their win at the European Championships. It was the first time in five years that that event was televised in Italy. First Italians to win that title in Iceland. have very quick feet. Both of them are equally matched in this dance. Fred and Ginger would be proud. <laughs> <laughs> These two, they work so incredibly hard. I have so much respect for them. That's a lot of pressure. Last year when they beat the French in the original dance, it was a little bit of a surprise mm -hmm. for them. Much of the time you come into a world championship, the favorite comes in. Unless they fall all over the place, they're going to win the gold <laughs> medal. That's not true this year. Great rivalry at the top. Barbara Fusterpoli and Mauricio Magallo trying to take the title away from Anasina and Pezera. They're very reliable. I have not seen them fall or falter on any of their footwork. This is their side-by-side -side footwork. Both have crisp feet, nice turns. Well done. And you can see here in their upper body hold, it just is a nice frame. It's very big and bold. And look at how close they are in their stomachs and in their hips. It's hard to skate close like that in ice dancing. <laughs> and you can always expect that connection from Barbara and Mauricio. They are great friends and great partners. Let's have another look at the ESPN Stroh Motion presented by Chevy. Now, one thing you may not be able to appreciate is the speed that this couple gets during the side-by-side -side footwork. But look at how well matched they are. It's mirror image. They work so hard with ballroom coaches to make sure that every piece of their choreography is authentic. Position. Uh, Tony Soprano would be proud. Of that effort here. <laughs> now, the fact that they skate before five, Anacina seven, and Pezera, five, I wonder seven, how that will figure five, in eight, to what the judges five, do seven, here. The composition five, marks 5-7-5-8 five, 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 range. Very five, high. Eight, five, five, eight, well, I thought that, that five, was deserving seven, of a 5.8. That's where I'd have it. 
So there is a little room at the top then because we got some 5.7s on the board there. Presentation marks five now, nine, and those are five, higher. Eight, Look at the 5.8s five, eight, and the 5.9s. Well, they're off to a great start. This should give them a lot of confidence going into the free dance. Into the lead. We'll see if it holds up. Mr. Poli and Margallo. Thank you.